Hi there, this is Shion from IIT Kanpur. Welcome to our new and attractive video series called Cell in Focus made by BioOrganic Hub. So today I am here to tell you a story about atomic force microscopy, another important microscopic technique to get atomic resolutions of your surface of specimen. Now, as the name you can see, there are two new words atom and force. So here it says force is actually the main ingredient. There will be some generation of force which is the main ingredient for the image formations and you will get an atomic details. That's why it's called atomic force microscopy. Now it's very important to understand the basic principle image formation mechanism of this atomic force microscopy. If you are searching for that one, this video is just for you. And the uniqueness of this video is that in the last we have some animated versions of the principle of the scientific principle by which FM works, which helps you to understand the scientific principle in a very layman style. So just let's start. Now, actually, in which principal atomic force microscopy works that is exactly similar to the principle by which old days music recorder works. You are thinking right. That's the gramophone. How gramophone works? Now let's see. Here is a video how the gramophone works. Here the person is holding a probe or a pin which is going to be moved or scratch on the surface of the digs. Now the signal for the music is going to be fetched out by the scratching of the probe with the disc. Let's see the video. This scratching is going to generate the music signal. Now, this is the exactly similar principle AFM works. AFM also search for a signal on the surface of the specimen by a probe made by silicon called AFM probe. Now, if you go for a schematic diagram of AFM, sorry, before going that, if you make the long story short how the AFM works, you have to say AFM operates by scanning AFM probe, that's the probe, on the specimen surface. Means they move throughout the surface to search for the signal and that signal is going to be recorded by some photodiode and make the image at the computer. Now, if you go to the schematic of the AFM, you will get like this. This is the inner machinery of how AFM works. Here you can see the blue balls are actually surface atoms, not the inner atoms, the surface of the specimen. Because AFM can only get the informations from the surface of the specimen. Now, here you can see one probe or one tip which is going to be made in contact with the surface atoms. Here, here this is the tip and which is connected with the cantilever. Now, whenever the tip is moving throughout the surface of the specimen, it feels somewhere less repulsion, somewhere more repulsion or somewhere in the case attractive force. And based on that, the cantilever which is connected with the probe is going to be deflected and that deflections of the cantilever is recorded by the help of some laser beam deflections in a photodiode. And that is the main ingredient for the image formation. Let's check again the principle how the AFM works. That is, uh, AFM operates by scanning this AFM probe, have you seen, on the specimen surface. Now, this actually based on three stage mechanism. First, AFM probe moves on the specimen surface and then now this tip which is held at the end of the cantilever is attracted 
are repelled to the surface of the specimen by the intramolecular for intermolecular force of attraction and that at force of attraction can be attraction as well as repulsion now this cause a deflection as you have seen in the cantilever which is the main ingredient of the image formation now in the next slide we will see how the image formations happens so the afm principle is actually based upon three stages of procedure afm operates by scanning afm probe on the specimen surface that means the probe will scan the whole surface and next this tip is which is held at the end of the cantilever which i have seen is attracted or repelled to the surface of the specimen and by the intermolecular force of attractions so this variations of intermolecular force of attraction will create a variations of deflections of the cantilever and this deflections of cantilever is going to be the main ingredient of the image formations which is recorded by some laser at the photodiode and thus the image formed at your connected computer now one question is your going on your mind and that obvious how the force of repulsion and attraction can be the main ingredient for the image formations and that is here when you are going for a closer tip and sample distance along the z axis the strong repulsive force is generating and that is due to the overlap of atomic orbitals which atomic orbitals you have the tip which made up of silicon and you have the atoms on the surface so this two atomic orbital may be have an overlap that's why there is a strong repulsive force so when you are decreasing the distance between the tip and sample along the z axis we call it z separation when the z separation are going to decrease you are generating a stronger repulsive force now it will be very meaningful if you plot the z separation as a x axis versus y axis for force generated at that particular point and that will ge uh, give this type of plot leave the contact mode and non contact mode we will discuss in a minute but the message to take from this plot is whenever you have a very small z distance decrement means small decrement of the z separation like the hair to hair you will have a uh, increment of the force generated z distance is decrement the repulsive force are increasing that's the main message now the system is uh, made in such a way that it can't feel it can't allow the change of repulsion force throughout the whole specimen scanning that's why you have to make an another way out you have one platform on which your sample is placed now if you make this platform to up and down to maintain a constancy of your force generated repulsive force generated then probably you can overcome the situation that's actually exactly happen the repulsive force throughout the whole process actually kept constant but the platform which holds the sample going up and down and that's actually only being possible by using a piezoelectric platform which goes up and down to maintain the constancy of a repulsive force now this upward and downward motion along z separation if you plot as a function of xy position of the sample surface that actually provides a high resolution image information for the surface topography that exactly how you get the image from your afm instrument now the concept high resolution from where the high resolution comes you will see in this graph here the very small decrement in this region you can see very small decrement of jet separation going to generate a large force that's how you are getting a very fine resolution 
As shown here in the graph, a very small change in jet separation lead to change in force and that's contribute to the atomic resolution. Now I will show a typical image of a nanomaterial which is looks like. This is a typical image of a nanomaterial. So here the Z axis is along the Z and XY position has been plotted against the Z. Here you can see some horn type structure and some valley. This actually is decided by the less repulsion force or the more repulsion force. Let's say horn, the more repulsion may be actually different. Is I want to say the horn and valley, the repulsion force are actually different in these two forms. That's how you will get the information for the surface topography. Now, one thing is very bad in this process is that you, when you are using in a soft material, obviously AFM is used in maximum in many times for the nanomaterial research. So when you are using for soft material like a polymer hydrogel, then you can be disappointed by damaging your sample because one probe is constantly in touch of your sample at that making a, that feeling some force. That's why to overcome this process, this overcome the damaging of the sample, people has pro has been proposed a new process called tapped tapping mode. That we will discuss in the next slide. To overcome the problem of surface damage, people has been proposed tapped model, where the AFM probe is actually vibrating up and down, not in the contact with the surface for a longer time. Thus, you can avoid the contact with the sample surface for longer time and thus to avoid the damage of your sample. But one problem here is when the probe is going to up and down, it by itself can generate some signal which doesn't come from sample contact with the probe. So there is a chance of false, sample, false signal generation. So in perspective of resolution, as well as the faithfulness of the sample signal, people prefer the non-contact uh, the contact mode as compared to non-contact mode. So this tapping mode is called non-contact mode because that's not in contact for a longer time. Hence, in this non-contact mode, actually attractive force sometimes is generated instead of repulsive force when the jet separation ranges less than 10 nanometer. And that's why you have seen in the previous plot, there are some, some region in the below, there are some region in the below where here you can see this is the attraction region and here the repulsion region. Attraction region can generate less than 10 nanometer in the non-contact mode. That's why people use the contact mode. Now, before finishing, I just want to give a very unique and attractive animations which conveys you the whole concept which I, which I said till now in a single two minute video. And that will be helpful to understand the concept in a very lucid way. Now this is the platform, piezoelectric platform I am showing. Here your sample has been kept. This is the sample surface. Now here this is the cantilever and connected with the probe. Now use optical system, laser, they Now this is the tapping mode will happen. Yeah, vibrations along up and down and making the generations of signal in the screen. And this periodic oscillation and their modification along surface result in more topographic, more accurate topographic results. 
but here you also can generate you also can measure the force versus height force versus jet separation as we have discussed there are some attraction region and there are some repulsion region for your reference this video has been taken from quantummatesimple.com hope you understood all the concept that's all for atomic force microscopy and this very important technique if you have any doubt any questions if i have made any mistake please feel free to contact comment in the comment box i want at least 10 to 15 comments about this video in my comment box thank you for watching and feel free to make any questions if you have i will be happy to answer that thank you for watching if you help it if you see it helpful subscribe my channel thank you bye bye